people hello lovelies thank you so much for tuning into my channel um if you're new here welcome if you are returning thanks for coming back um subscribe like etc etc as you read in the title this is going to be a march 2020 reading um we're going to be going into the energy around your love life for my capricorns let's go ahead and get started Um, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or someone with Aquarius heavy, heavily in their chart, but aside from the actual, aside from the actual, um, zodiac sign of the person, you, right now in your love life, you could be having an, a desire for a progression for some type of growth um or movement maybe there could be some stagnation going on right now some of you could be dealing with a fire sign as well um this person could be possibly not living up to your expectations um or seemingly just not present as you would like them to be in the relationship or in the i heard situationship for some of you i guess you guys are trying to figure out where you stand or what's the title um, but there's this energy of, you know, wishing and hoping and praying and waiting. Like, that's the thing that popped in my head. I don't know what that little jingle or song is. Um, but there seems to be something that's stopping you from disconnecting fully from this person or from this relationship. I don't know if this is an ex or someone from the past or if it's just someone who you have a lot of history with. Um, I do feel like in your desire or like your wants and your needs as they elevate or as they affect you more strongly as you're getting to the point of being like, okay, I can't, you know, settle um, anymore or I'm not going to settle. I refuse to settle. As you're getting to that point, you're still having a hard time letting go of this person, um, at least energetically. Um, but you are like as your desire for you know certain things like maybe more romanticism um honesty more communication um you know like more of a friendship within the midst of the relationship things like that as that increases and intensifies that's the word as it intensifies capricorn um i feel like throughout march there's gonna be this energy where you shift right so you go from being like um, super passionate and really like nurturing this relationship or really nurturing this person or putting in a lot of effort and energy to kind of falling back I feel like um, there is some disappointment but it's almost like you're not even mad at the person you could be possibly more mad at yourself it's like you're disappointed but you're like what did I expect one of those things um, it could be one of those situations where um, you had a standard set but that person was never that way anyway. And you were still hoping and expecting and wishing and praying and hoping and waiting and wishing, you know, and it's like, okay, one day, one day, and you saw glimmers of hope, but maybe it never fully played itself out. And I feel like with that being the case, um, you're not really feeling betrayed by this person. You're not feeling disappointed by this person. You're feeling more so like, you know, well, what'd you expect, you know? All right, let's see. Let's get a little more into... Oh, I didn't even get to finish. Um, the person that you're dealing with, they could be going through a transformation right now, right? They could be... They are... I don't feel like they are purposely, like, using you or purposely, you know, being defensive or, you know, kind of lazy or stagnant. I feel like they're going through a transformation. They're, they're evolving... It just may be at a very slow, slow pace. Um, I feel like there could have been some disagreements or a lot of debates at first. I feel like Capricorn, you're taking on an energy now where it's like, I'm not going to keep fussing over the same thing. I'm not going to keep repeating myself. I'm not going to keep trying to tell you what my standards are. I'm just going to allow, you know, things to play out the way they're going to play out. Some of you could just be tired of this relationship or just tired of you know, kind of being let down. And I don't see you leaving just yet in March, which is funny because it seems like you have so much frustration. I do see something changing about the relationship, drastically changing, but I don't see the full breakup. I see movement and drastic change, but I don't see breakups. So I don't know if maybe you're going to take a break with this person.
there could be another energy that is around or that comes in. There could be an ex or someone from the past, I believe, on your end, Capricorn, but you could be you or your partner um, or your love interest, whomever you're dating. Um, but there's, I feel like, some type of unfinished business with someone um, that you invested a lot of emotion in or someone that invested a lot of emotion in you. There's like this unspoken love, maybe, or this un discussed I don't even know if that's a word undiscussed but this undiscussed communication maybe about it or feelings like something could have appeared as a breakup but it wasn't fully broken up from if that makes sense or there could have been an ending with no closure or something like that but there's some type of other party or other emotion somewhere around in the situation and I'm not sure if it's specifically you Capricorn or if it's an ex who's like having its awakening like oh I miss the Capricorn you know I need the copy back in my life or if it's the person that you're dealing with who has an ex that's popping up or they're missing an ex or something um this could also be like a comparison a compare and contrast thing like someone could be, could be feeling compared to someone else or they could be comparing you to someone else Capricorn the person you're dealing with or you could be doing that to your partner um but there's still not, it's like there's so many conflicting emotions like going on. There could be a lot of confusion, um, a lot of like giving up almost like, you know, I'm tired of being mad. I'm tired of being sad. I'm tired of being disappointed. I just don't know what to feel. Um, and for your partner, some of them could have been, really been trying, but just not able to fully stand up to your standards. And some of them could be having like a woe is me type of thing, like a victim mentality type of thing like I just can't do anything right by you I can't give you everything that you want but this person I feel like if it's not an ex coming up the person that you're dealing with who is not really able to you know meet all of your needs and wants they are they do love you or they do care about you genuinely there is genuine emotion there okay um let's see My cats are having a field, field day in the background. Okay. Um, immediately when I put down this card, I felt new beginning. So there is, there is there, there is going to be some sort of change in your love life, okay? Now, when I say change, I'm not specifically saying what kind of change. So I'm not saying you will break up with this person. I'm not saying this person will do a 360 overnight. Um, I don't see something ending and something new beginning. You know, I don't fully see the ending that needs to take place with something. But I do see transformation and I do see... Um, something being like a new start so you guys could take a break like I said like it doesn't fully end but you guys take a break or there's like a past energy that is really going to come in really hot and passionate towards you um and it's going to seem like out of the blue like this person did like a poof I'm back <laughs> um but something about this change is is gonna be unsettling for you, um, Capricorn. I feel like something about this change, like if it's a break that you guys decide to take, you're gonna feel like free, but still trapped. And it could be like you and this person are still like tied to each other in some way. You still have to, you know, pay phone bill together or something like that. Um, there's still some communication that's gonna have to happen. So you don't really get a full break. Um, for those of you who it's not a break, it's just like one of those things where some stuff is changing, but it's like back and forth. Like maybe it's hot and cold between the two of you. Um, you, you're just starting to feel uneasy. I feel like it's almost like driving you crazy. Like either you're going towards like feeling depressed and super frustrated or like almost like, am I losing my mind? Like I can't take any more of this. There, okay, the new beginning is like the person that you're dealing with or someone that's coming around could be more mature than they were in the past, okay? Then at the same time, with the transformation that's happening, um, I feel like there's still a lack of romanticism in some way 
or like um, displays of affection. But that doesn't mean that emotion's not there, okay? But there's still a lack of displays of affection. Let's get one more. You start to feel like possibly that this person is not the person for you or this relationship is not the relationship for you, right? And your person starts to feel like they don't have what it takes to satisfy you or give you what you need or, you know, fulfill the things that you're requesting of them. Um, and because of that, the relationship kind of dulls out a little bit. Um, it gets to a place where... It gets to a place where the person is willing to work on things, but I feel like at the same time, they, they're they feeling like they've done all they can and they possibly could start talking to other people um, just in a friendly manner. I don't want to say it's like it goes right into cheating or this could be some of your energy, but um, just you start, they start to like entertain the thought of entertaining other people emotionally. Like, maybe I should find someone else that fits me. Or maybe I should let this Capricorn, you know, go. Maybe I'm not what they need. Those type of thoughts. And then with you, Capricorn, I feel like you get a bit lost. Like, you don't know which way to go. Like, you feel like trying to figure out your love life like this. Trying to figure out what steps to take and things. It's like you feel weak in this realm. Like, you may be doing well in your career. You may be doing well, you know, in school. You're doing good across the board, right? And then or you get to love and it's like, what am I going through? Like, what is happening? What is this cycle? What is this pattern? Why can't I get this right? Why can't we get this right? Why can't I make the right choice? Why does it have to be hot and cold, in and out, up and down? Like, you just start to feel a little less optimistic about it, a little frustrated, a little lost and confused. I feel like more so than, like, going into the depressive mode some of you may but I feel like more so than going to depressive mode though you kind of tune into yourself and then like I said the relationship kind of loses some of its luster it's like you guys don't fully give up I don't think in March um because there are some I feel like materialistic ties there is a foundation there may be a home or an apartment or something shared between the two of you like you have something together or you were planning to you may actually have the business together or something like that I don't know um or you work together so you can't really not see each other it's something about materialism right so it keeps that connection um it encourages well, it encourages the keeping of the connection even more so than the emotions because you guys do care about each other. Um, but there's, I don't know, it's just, it loses its luster. It loses its fun. Like someone tries and you guys have a good week or day or something, um, but there's a little bit of loss of luster. Uh, I feel like you kind of just end up still wishing and hoping and waiting. You know, I may call the video of wishing and hoping. So that's what I feel like you may end up still doing for March of 2020. Um, for those of you who, you know, do have the ex coming back, I feel like the ex may come in fast and hard and passionate, but they may not stay that way. So tread lightly with that situation, okay? All right, Capricorns, I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. As I said at the beginning, I'm Coco Hummingbird. Like, share, subscribe, comment, etc., etc. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Tune in for the next one. Um, if you want to know anything about personal readings, you can reach me at CocoReadings at gmail.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love and air hugs. Bye.